Jackson Revival Center kids, friends, and family. We are so excited to be here with you today for our first segment of Revival Kids. I've got a few of my friends here and together we're going to talk to you about kindness today and help you process your emotions during this time of quarantine. So I pray that you enjoy what my friends are going to bring your way. May God bless you as you watch. My name is Bob. What's your name? My, my name is Sarah. Well, that name is so ugly. <laughs> what? Well, your name, Bob, is a stupid name. That's why you look like, you look like, you look like the giant green giant. <laughs> what? You need to get out of my face. You need to get out of my face, you better back up. Coronavirus. <laughs> it's out. You need to move. Your sister named Coronavirus. Your mama named Coronavirus. Why well, your daddy named Coronavirus, uh, huh, Oh, uh, you don't talk about my daddy. Well, you you hurt my feelings. You don't talk about my You I'm hurt not my feelings. I'm you hurt my face. Sorry. You hurt my feelings. I'm Get away from me! Get away from me! No! Don't touch me! Guys, guys, what's going on here? Bob, Sarah? That, that big head girl was talking about my daddy, Pastor. She was, he was talking about my daddy and my mama. Oh, guys. And I just told the truth. They ugly. They are ugly. No, yeah, no, no. Hold on, hold mm -hmm. on, hold on. Oh my head. We need some kindness here today. Mm -hmm. I know everybody's tired of being in the house. I know that you're getting on one another's nerves. But the Bible tells us to be kind and compassionate one toward another mm -hmm. and to forgive one another as God has forgiven us. Bob, have you ever done something that made you feel bad? Yes, ma'am. Sarah, have you ever done something that made you feel bad and you had to ask God to forgive you? Yes, ma'am. Did God forgive you when you asked? Oh, he did. Did God forgive you, Bob? Yes, ma'am. Well, just like God forgave you, we have to be willing to forgive one another. How about we take a few moments and go into story time and talk more about kindness? Okay, guys. Hello everybody out there. I am so happy to be coming to you to share a little something with the kids today. Uh, Miss Crystal and I are going to talk with you about your words. So if you've ever heard the statement, sticks and stones will break your bones, but words will never hurt. You know, that's something that as a child, I heard my teacher tell me one time. And when she said that, I could not understand what she meant by that because look, ouch! See, that hurt her, you know? But the thing that I came to realize is that what that means is that yes, I'm not gonna hit you again, okay. but like if I were to pick up this stone, wouldn't do that right now because then y'all would see me commit like a real bad crime. But if I were to hit her, yeah, it hurts. But if I say really unkind words to her, that sticks with her. Miss Crystal, does your arm still hurt? Oh, yes. Possibly does not. Yes, it does. She's lying. 
Words hurt. That little hit, it hurt. But it's not going to keep her awake at night. It's not going to make her think negative thoughts. It's not going to make her think things about herself that other people have said. So when you think about your words, be careful with your words. Your words have so much power. Your words can bring light or your words can bring darkness. Make a choice as to what kind of words you want to use. Now, Miss Crystal is going to share something with you as well. Okay, as she said, words can hurt more than someone hitting you and a bone breaking because those things will heal. But words can replay in your head at night and you can think about them and think about them. And I know your routines have changed and you're home with your parents more and your siblings. And sometimes you all may not get along. But even during those times, Ephesians 4.32 tells us to be kind to one another. So right here, I have a little demonstration I'm going to show you. These are my words. And when words come out, you know, you think, oh, I'm sorry. And you say, I didn't mean to say that. But those words, once Trust they're out, your heart. see, she can't put them back in you. So watch. These are my words. And I'm just letting Loser. them come out. Oh, that's horrible. You'll never be good at anything. Oh, oh no. I didn't mean that. Your paper looks good. I'm sorry. But now, see, those words are out. No, right. no, I'm sorry. Put them, okay, put them back in. I didn't mean to call you that. Put the words no, in. No, I didn't mean to call you that. You're not that. But you see, no matter, I'm going to take this top off. Those words didn't go back in. Let's try again to get the words. I'm going to try. You didn't mean it, and I forgive I didn't you. mean it. Oh, I'm going to try really carefully. But as you see, I still cannot... Get all those words back in. So, as you're home with your parents, I want you to think about your words. And remember that the Bible tells us to be kind one to another, to be kind to each other. Miss Candace? The only thing that I want to say is with your words, reckless words pierce like a sword, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. What type of tongue do you want to have? Do you want to have a tongue that pierces like a sword? See, no, you don't. <laughs> you want to have a wise tongue, a tongue that brings healing, a tongue that brings peace to wherever you are and to wherever you go. And I just want you to know that we love you and we miss you and we look forward to seeing you back at Children's Church. Bye. Bye. Hey, children. Hey, Sarah. Hey. Hey, Bob. Did you guys see that awesome example that Miss Crystal gave as it relates to kindness? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Did you understand what she was really saying? I think so. You remember how the toothpaste came out of the tube? Mm -hmm. yeah. Those represents our words. Okay. That once we speak words, we can never take them back. Okay. Uh, okay, Pastor. So I think what needs to happen, I think you guys need to apologize to each other. Okay, Pastor. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry too, Bob. Okay. Can you say the scripture with me one, one more time? Yes, ma'am. Say, be kind. Be kind. And compassionate. And compassionate. And forgive one another. And forgive one another. As God. As God. Has forgiven you. Has forgiven you. I'm so proud of you guys. <laughs> Can you just shake hands? Very good. Good. Good job, Bob. Good job, Sarah. Boys and girls, I hope you've enjoyed our time together today. And I hope that maybe if you've said something unkind to your brother or your sister, maybe you've said something unkind to your mother or your father, this would be a good time to go and apologize. And maybe if somebody hurt your feelings, maybe you should let them know. 
And today, let's make sure that we forgive one another and be kind and compassionate, just like God has been kind and compassionate toward us. I'm so proud of you, Sarah. Thank you. I'm so proud of you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. You guys set a wonderful example for the children. All right, guys. See y'all again next week. Bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. Well, I pray that you enjoyed segment one of Revival Kids. We'll be back again next week as we talk about fear. I pray that you had a great time, and we'll see you again next week.